Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 691. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Fine. Oh, Corey's not here. Tony Karkanakis. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Corey uh, actually might be a little bit popping in the chat on occasion, but I, I've seen him pop in, but he's not here tonight. He's away on vacation. Um, he'll be back with us next week, but this is the uh, GameCast, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We are live on Twitch on Tuesday nights. As always, please feel free to join us for these. We'll have a conversation with you guys. We'll answer some questions, some comments. Um, YouTube is where all the other content is, so if you missed these live broadcasts, go subscribe to YouTube so you know when we post. All right, folks, we're going to get into what we've been up to. We got a little bit of gaming news to talk about. It's got the hardware to talk about a little bit today, uh, and new new Xbox strategy. Um, so we'll get into that, and we'll see. It seems like there's always new strategy from them, but we'll get to that. Let's hold it. Let's pin in that. Um, what have we been up to? Uh, I I have not played too much. I'm on the hiatus. You know, when you finish a big game, you kind of take that like breather. Uh, I have today installed Cyberpunk, and I did play through to the. Um, to the through the tutorial parts where you do the this is how you shoot this is how you you know i played through that part so i'm not far into it at all but i did install it today um game looks great i mean i have to say it looks really good uh for it's on the xbox obviously it loads very quickly i don't know what it was beforehand without the patching uh i never saw that i never played the game before this um but i you know tony tony raved about this game enough Considering how much we've slammed it in the past, I had I have to play this game. So that's oh, probably yeah, next. Absolutely. Yeah, the only thing that's got me, the only thing that has my eyebrow eyebrow raised right now is Persona Three, um, because I haven't played that and like it looks really good for a remake. And you know what I mean? Like it oh, looks really well, yeah. Exactly. So and it's on and it's on Game Pass, and I'm like, uh, I, I mean I don't know. I just finished Like a Dragon, and I'm like I don't want to go in. I mean no, it's funny because yeah, Cyberpunk is enough. still. Yeah, it's different enough. It's it's still an RPG, but there's it's it's different. It's an action RPG. So there's it's definitely grinding yeah. in Persona and yeah. I don't just don't think. I, I mean, the thing is, it, it's nice that there's no like there's side activities, but they're nowhere near in terms of like Yakuza like a dragon. Yeah, like, from what you guys told me, I get it. It's just kind of like, hey, you need to balance going to study or working a part time job or going to dungeons. Yeah. Like, and it's very yeah. simple. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. I so I'm, I'm moving to that. You're mostly just gonna go shoot people. That's what I'm good for. Like, do I have to do the stealth tutorial? Because I'm like, I was gonna skip it. You can. I mean, I think playing stealthy in that game makes things a lot more fun. That's never really necessary. Okay. Um, and I and, I'm, and I will be full honest here. I'm actually just gonna play on the easiest difficulty because I just want to experience the game. So I just want to play it. The game is easy to begin with. Oh, is it? Okay. I'll, maybe I'll change it back. But I didn't know. I just wanted to experience the game finally, and, and so we can talk. So I can talk you, about it on here. But you get so overpowered very easy. Oh. Then I just changed. I'll change it back to normal. Then I, yeah. So like once you find something that works, is like, it, it just gets better from there. You're just like, oh, and this 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 and this. Like, like I actually had to try to challenge myself by the end game where I'm just like, okay, I'm not gonna use my gun. In like this. not use things. Yeah, I'm gonna not use you. my gun in this scenario. See how far I can get and stuff like that. Like I, I think would do the that. Only time I died really was like when I gave myself like oh, I'm not gonna heal or like against a boss or two i might have even like oh well let me see if i could melee him <laughs> uh i used to do that borderlands too actually quite a bit i remember that with the characters um that's how i used to play that game I used to unload my big stuff and just play with the little guns and see if i could take down the the bosses but um cool all right uh that's really it uh for me um yeah, mike what have you been playing uh, i'm still playing the original x-men legends on the gamecube um you know, pretty involved game. It's not quick. It's not quick to get through it. Um, and, yeah. You know, I was, the only issue I have with it, like as I'm getting closer to the end, is um, the uh, the inventory for all the gear. You run up against the limit like way too quick. Like, if you have all your characters like fully outfitted, you have very little wiggle room to carry any alternate stuff. Um, but other than that, uh. Game Pass is giving me the opportunity to play MLB The Show, the new one, 2024. So I've, I've heard very that. good things. I've heard very good things. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I played the one on uh, on Game Pass from last year. It's very similar, but this one's got, um, I think for me, as a Yankee fan, I got a little bit of a, there's a Derek Jeter little story thing that you can play through. 
not very detailed or deep, but you do get a little bit of an interview with him in between a few moments in his career early on. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, I put together some legend, like, I added a lot of the legends to their respective teams, which I kind of wish the game would do automatically. Like, it's way behind, like, the NBA 2K stuff with, you know, stuff like that. But they're in the game, so it's cool to play. And, you know, yeah, I played, started a, a couple seasons, um, the real Yankees and my cheating legend team Yankees. Uh, so, it's fun. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I want to get, like I said, I think I'm going to subscribe to Game Pass soon, unless I just, like I said, I'll probably just play Cyberpunk first, and then I'll get onto Game Pass to, to play Persona. Just or... play fucking Cyberpunk. I'm going to play Cyberpunk. Installed. No, no, I just said it. I'm going to, I'm going to play Cyberpunk so first, and then I'm... You... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, and then I'm going to move on to the Game I mean, Pass. Cyber... Cyberpunk base game is still like 30 or 40 hours, so you got, yeah. some... You got some time. Yeah. yeah, I got time. So, all right, um, Tony, what have you been playing? Uh, nothing new or out of the ordinary. Just rotating um, Final Fantasy and doing. Did, some kind did you of get? Games. You didn't get the Peach game, did you? I did. I just have to go to Best Buy and pick it up, and I just okay. haven't felt like driving all the way out there. And I'm like, <sighs> I've got. Yeah, I've got Arya, my stepdaughter, here trying to. She wants the game. Yeah. <laughs> we have. We haven't finished Mario yet. We're on like the last world. We should probably just bear down and just finish Mario at this point. But uh, she wants that game, and I'm like, it, it. It seems like it's right up her alley for that. Yeah. So. No, I heard um, Eric had it, and he was playing it, and he's like, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I think there's a demo out if you download. Like, the, oh, really? The I might have to give that a try then. But it's yeah. it's kind of in the vein of like um, a Kirby or Yoshi game where it's like you know a little bit younger of an audience, right? Where it's like yeah lower difficulty but the challenge is going to be like doing the 100 percent like oh find the three hidden coins yeah. in the but it's or those games yeah. work those games work so well because it has that i can complete this level yeah and then as they grow in the game and get better at it then they're like oh i can unlock this yeah. i can unlock, like that's the thing with the only problem with mario wonder is the levels for her are just they're too challenging for her now at this point so i'm like i'm carrying the lo- i gotta go through this myself um, which is funny because like all I hear is like she's telling me how to do it. I'm like, listen, again, I know, I know my, t- I know my Mario. I, I, it's not my first rodeo here, guys. Uh, but um, I, you know, whatever. Uh, but it's a good opening game for her. Like Mario is a pretty tough game for her to get through. She's been doing pretty good with it. But I, I think Peach is a better um, timing builder for her to yeah. get into that. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that's what I thought. Like a good Yoshi game or the Kirby game would be great for her too. But um. Yeah, Peach will be right. She's interested. She, she saw she saw the Peach poster. She wanted to get it, so I was like, okay, this this might be the this might be the pickup for me. Yeah, I just didn't I know if you picked up. Yeah, the demo for like two levels or something like that, and then you can see how cool. Gage like, right. responds in that way. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna pick that up then. She wants to go back to Stray. So remember that game Stray with the cat? She wants to go oh back yeah, to that, stuff. that was like yeah. two or three years, and you never beat. It. I was like, I, oh, okay. No, I, I just yeah, I, I should. You know what I should have done? I just played it. Like I, that's a game that looks interesting for puzzles, aspects of things, and everything. And it's like. It, it got it's like game of the year not game of the year but it was on lists it was, nominee, yeah. but it was on nom- nominated for like a lot of things and so i should give that game a look um but yeah so you know like i said i've played a lot of rpgs in a row and uh i think that's what that's where i'm like cyberpunk's a good just shooter i really need a shooter right now myself um so like i like sea of stars i never even finished i i got to the third act and i'm just the, the story hasn't hooked me uh it just yeah. at this point at this point it's like it's a JRPG, which I love JRPGs, but it's very they're very basic. And if you don't, if you're not hooked by the story, you're just not going to play it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard that's so. one of the criticisms I hear. Anyways, I heard is Tony still there? No, sorry, you, you froze for a second, but oh, okay. uh, uh, you're good. That's kind of what I heard uh, was that like the story peaks kind of early and just meanders the, it, a little bit. Act, it's like, act uh, one to act two, it was like, oh, this is fantastic, yeah. and I'm like, it just doesn't seem to go far yeah. after that. Yeah. So, um, but cool. All right, let's talk a little bit of news here, guys. Um, we'll kick it off with. Uh, do we watch? Do we talk about Overwatch two last week? I don't think we did. This came out afterwards. Uh, how it's, you know, uh, behind the scenes for Overwatch two that Jason Schreier posted about the fact that there's no more PVE happening. Um, devs got a zero percent profit sharing bonuses this month for that game. It's in trouble, and there's still optimism for a competitive aspect of this game is this is, really sorry did you mention they're scrapping every aspect of the pve mode i, I just okay. said scrap did, I, did sure. I freeze for a second i'm sorry i yeah. don't know it, was, it could have been me it could have been me. yeah 
No, it's uh, they're scrapping every aspect of PV, which is what was the big sell of Overwatch too. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. Fuck Blizzard. You know, whatever. It's Microsoft's mess to clean up now or not, whatever. Um, but it's just disappointing because like uh, this game was so good that first year it came out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, they and, got me and to I spend. Said, I was like, this could be a, a, one of the greatest games of all time if they keep it up. This this pacing and this. Uh, Overwatch Two you know, is whatever. what messed them up. Overwatch no, they, Two killed they them. They lost it before Overwatch. No, no, no. You it think was, so? It was before that, obviously. Like mm. it was. You know, they had their league going their, though. Like they. Yeah, the league is the, when that became their focus. I kind of think it messed it up. Yeah, because they were focusing on the league way too much and not. Oh, okay. Not releasing but, content for the casual stuff because like. It was like, oh, we're we're putting so much effort and energy into like the balancing and new characters and new like a new stage, but like they weren't they weren't doing, doing like, the the new events like they were recycling like Olympic Skins events and stuff in, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. non Olympic year. It's like you couldn't do anything for summer. Yeah, besides gotcha. recycle Olympic event like. Gotcha. Overwatch yeah. two just kind of how the mighty have fallen. Overwatch two is what um took them to the free to play and kind of opened up the floodgates in people being even to- more toxic right because like yeah at least you had to buy the game and it got it did get cheap right to like the 20 dollar range or whatever like that but at least still like it's 20 bucks whereas like free to play you just make a new account and you could be a smurf right and you're just ruining the experience for people that aren't good right or you're better than yeah you. uh and people that are just like being complete assholes on online right so it's just like it drove away a lot of the casual like I do not know anybody that still plays Overwatch at all. And I used yeah, to know so many. I bought that game. That was a game that on different, different I bet to, I yeah, I had on two different platforms and I would buy things in game. Like I bought packs in that mm-hmm. game, which is one of the only games I've ever done that in. Ever. And uh yeah, that's the only game. I believe that might be the only game I ever bought packs but you know, those packs in to try to get things out of. Um yeah, that's how big that was and it's mighty as fall it's amazing how far it's fallen. It really is. Blizzard in general, amazing how far yeah. they've fallen. Um, so we're going to finish out with the Marvel news, but let's let's move into Microsoft about uh, a couple different things that we're talking about. And we mentioned we didn't mention it last week. We're going to mention the hand. They have apparently a new console in Dev's hands. But last week, now it's been more and more rumors this week about the fact that it looks like Microsoft may not be doing a pro version of their system, but instead looking at doing a handheld version of their system that is a actual handheld not an action not like a playstation what are that what is that thing called portal. um portal. Portal. portal not a portal but like a steam deck it looks like they're doing like a steam deck and it's exciting actually for me on this aspect of shut up game pa- ga- shut game pass up. games on the game pass games on the go it's easier uh, to do it than the steam deck that's how all. is it easier well because the steam deck you have to install like the Microsoft Store, you have to like, you have to do a whole bunch of steps. I looked it up to, to play Game Pass games. I'm saying, how is a, a new device that only yeah, I get you there. Xbox games easier than Steam? But it's not only Xbox games. So it looks like what they're looking at doing is in putting on multiple stores in, in involved with them, like Battle.net, obviously, which we already have. The Epic Game Store is attached. They're talking about being able to run with this system. What games not just the Microsoft. Games? I'm just giving you options. I'm just saying, like, you have how much content do you do you have on your Epic game, Epic Game Store? A lot, and I don't play any of them. I said, I, okay, but I'm just saying it's available to you then that way. Uh, it's not a bad idea. It's really not. It, I'm sorry. It's not. I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's even like what Jim, Steam you have did. A Steam they, they may not. Oh yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm just I'm telling you that why I think it's a good idea for them. I'm not saying I'm going out and buying this. I'm just, just telling you the why I think. Me. Well, I'm, yes, but I have to go buy a PS5 first. That's priorities. I'm not buying this system. I'm just telling you that I understand why it would make sense for like for me. I would be able to play Game Pass games on the go. That's I'm giving you an example of why it would be good. What was the last Game Pass game you played? I just mentioned the fact that I want to doubt. I want to get Game Pass for Persona Three. No, no, what was and the last for them will be the show. What was the last one? I don't even know. Starfield. I don't even know for like last an game. hour. Maybe Starfield for an hour, and before that. I don't even know, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, listen, you can't fault. It's not a terrible idea. You can't fault. Them I for think it's idea. a terrible idea. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't see why it exists. Like, you know, they don't have exclusives. I mean, if you look at side, like it's there, you just do it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a matter of like, 
I, I look at what they're looking for and in, when I read the fact that they would let you in, in, install other game stores on the system, that's their that's, pie in the sky scenario. Yes, I get that, and this is unconfirmed reports. This may not even exist, but I'm just telling you that it that would be a really good system to have with that. If you could install Steam, if you could install Epic onto this system rather than have like the Steam Deck, which is great. I mean, that's a fantastic piece of hardware. I love that Steam Deck, but it's a lot of workarounds to get to the other stores. If it could just do it natively, that's pretty big. It's not bad. I mean, listen, for, for people that have a handheld, the Steam Deck is a great system. You know why it's a great system? Because you take your Steam library with you and play it on the road, and it, it runs great. I love that. I love that system. Uh, it's it's designed amazingly. We don't know how this is going to be designed. But, like, th it makes sense to try to do this for Microsoft because... No All right. I just... I, I disagree I with you. Think... I mean, listen, you just hate Microsoft. I know you do. Absolutely, 100%. Dude, they can't and even I, I a console break. Why, are they, why would I you bother? It. Why would you bother entering the handheld space? It's another frontier. It's another aspect of things they're not into. Yeah, it gives them that Switch audience that they kind of You think the kind Switch audience? Really? No. That they can't I can take my games places. on the go. You think they're going to compete with fucking Nintendo? I can take, I can take my games on the go and play them wherever and like look People i mean Churro, do that. thank you and Churro joined us Churro, thank you for joining us by the way a system that lets you have all of them is cool see all those game stores uh yeah i mean it, it, no, it is a like a steam proposition deck. nobody goes man i wish i could have my steam library and my epic library and my xbox library and my battle net which is going to become the same thing as the fucking xbox there's nobody Absolutely. nobody that goes i wish i had all this i want I disagree. I think there is people that hate all the launchers. And you, if you can have it in one system, like the Steam Deck, you can't have that. I, I wish that I could easily load some Xbox games onto the Steam Deck. Okay, cool. Like, absolutely. Sure. I just do. So, I, we'll see what the design's going to be. Uh, it sounds like this would be what that new dev kit is out for. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And uh, listen, I understand. It, where are the games still? There are no games. It doesn't, like, make you suddenly have games as a Microsoft as, as the Xbox company but you know it's and, and thank you Churro there will be people see sure it's not going to be zero but it's going to be why the fuck does this thing exist like this is the equivalent of PSVR 2 I mean I wouldn't put it there I wouldn't put it in VR how you much put it in do VR you expect status? this to cost probably same price as Steam Deck what are they at here I'd be, I'd be in the same ballpark as Steam Deck Four to five hundred dollars. Four to five hundred dollars. And you yep. think people will buy this? Do they buy a Steam Deck? Yeah, but even Steam only is selling like a couple million units. Yeah, it's I mean, a very I don't think it's gonna be a piece of hardware. Is to get yeah. people that already have libraries built up over twenty years of Steam games. Sure, and same thing with Epic. All those free games you got, you can install that on the system. Nobody gives a shit about Epic. Just saying, Nobody you have a ton of, it. you have a ton of free content. You're not playing. It's on Epic. Steam games are cheap as dirt as it is. Yeah, I just think that it's not a terrible idea. It really is not. I we'll see. Too. We'll see. Like it's a complete waste I, of time, energy, and resources. And they should just fucking make some games. They, listen, I can't even. I have no. You you win. I don't. I don't have an argument to that. I do not. You're right. Because this is You're exactly right. Jim, this is this is the fucking cycle. Microsoft touts and teases some piece of technology and you just fucking start Whoa. salivating at the No, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. No. I didn't what? say I'm buying this system. Don't I didn't say you were. I didn't say you, you put were. This on me? But you start okay. salivating. You're like, this is gonna be so cool, right? What was the fucking Microsoft uh what was that fucking piece of shit? Um the uh, augmented reality. The thing. augmented reality fucking thing. Yeah, I knew you were going right? right back to that. I you were like, this is gonna be a game changer. I'm like, why? How is this going to be a fucking game changer, right? In, Remember the power in, of the cloud? And that was going to be a game changer too? In, Remember in the, the power medical, of TV? In, TV, in the TV, medical TV, TV, field, TV? the augmented reality was a game changer. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that's why I was rooting for a company to make a fucking piece of video game hardware. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, no, I right? mean, The listen, power of the cloud, right? Remember that? You can't, you can't deny the fact that they do make pretty good hardware. It doesn't matter. I guess they have no content. It I'm, doesn't I, I, I fucking matter. Oh, Microsoft doesn't make games. I get it. 
They don't. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with you. That's my big problem with them. That's my big problem. I don't disagree with you. I'm just telling you that the hardware idea, it's a pretty good idea. They still need games? Absolutely. Right. So focus on the games. And maybe, sure. Maybe afterwards uh, yes. you can focus on the hardware. Sure. Okay. Let's let's churn out twenty great games and then bring out the hardware. That's I that's okay. I, I don't because they I own don't like disagree thirty with that. studios. I, I do not disagree with that. I do not. I but I do feel like this is not a bad idea. It may be wrongly placed time wise, but it's not a bad idea. So why do you think it's a good idea? I'll challenge you. What, why? Because again, like, what does this do for an average game consumer? And well, games on the go. It's being able to play my Steam Deck stuff. Anywhere I'm at lets you play a lot more. So, like, I can take on a game. Same thing with the Switch. I can take on a game that is, like, 100 hours long, and I can get through it a lot better because I can take it with me. I can play it on break at work. I can bring it with me. With an Xbox, today, for instance, Persona 3, game I was thinking about getting. Which is available I'm not, on Steam. Yes, but it's $70 on Steam. I can get it on Game Pass for you know the monthly wow, subscription cool. you named the one game that would be like I'm, full price i'm telling you that this is freshly in my head today and then when i read the news i'm like that would be kind of cool to be able to just say hey i'm gonna bring my xbox library with me i'm gonna play persona 3 a little bit in my office when i get a little nobody break gives i'm gonna, a I'm gonna shit do that about game pass like i thought we've been I, through this nobody gives a shit about game pass it's a my, fucking well, failure I, I, I would push back against that you don't give a shit about game pass lots of people no do. most people don't anymore it's plateaued, and that's why they're pivoting to fucking releasing video but games on other platforms now. It's not growing as much anymore, but it's still their primary thing. This is the only thing, and they've been working on it for 10 years. Hey, listen, so, he's not wrong, it's that's plateaued. Xbox. That's Xbox. So, if Xbox is making a portable Game Pass machine, that's that's what it is, basically. That's how I see it, at least. Yes, that's what I see it like as well. But you're right, they still need content. I'm not, I can't, I, I, you have, I have no argument to that at all because we both, we've said on the podcast and I completely agree with you. They suck at bringing out games and you can't trust that. Absolutely. I do not argue with that. Right. So that's it. Why, why are we even giving like, cause I, like, I, I like to talk about like the fact that a thought that they could release a handheld in what a year, two years, three years. It sounds like it's sooner than that. Really? What? Dev kits are in the. If there's dev kits in there, it'd be next there's year. Dev kits? He talked about that. No, I mean, there was a. I'm, all of this is rumor. There's well, not even. Not we're, even we're, we're, this may not even exist. But I can tell you that we're last week they were reporting that there's dev kits. A new system is in, in dev the developers' hands. Okay. That's on the new. I, we did not mention it last week in our news because we were talking about a whole bunch of other stuff. But that was in the news. So. Um. Yeah, and Churros is it right. Game Pass is good for paying, you know, fifteen dollars for paying playing seventy dollars games. Yeah, absolutely, it is. If you can get it done in a month, yeah, that's it's, it. It's weird that strategy did not work out for Microsoft. Oh, I mean, ten years. I'm not saying it's not a. I, 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 I'm not arguing that. I'm not, but I'm just telling you that's my strategy. Pay fifteen bucks instead of seventy to play the game. So, and that's on them for coming up with revenue for that, because Microsoft pays them for it. So, all right, what else we have? Oh, we've got the um tomorrow. We've got the a new Marvel game. New we talk about Overwatch. Weird timing. Maybe. A, a Maybe. new Marvel game. I've said I've 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 heard this multiple reports that there's a new game coming out. It's gonna be revealed tomorrow for Marvel, and it's gonna be an Overwatch esque six v six style game. Do we want it? Do we even do we we just mentioned Overwatch? No, I don't give a shit. You know what? I'm I'm interested. I remember thinking when Overwatch came out, I'm like, you know, Marvel characters would fit in something like this um I, i'd be interested in it. i mean if we have to do multiplayer games and shit like that why not make it a marvel thing where there's a lot of you know similar leveled powered characters and uh you know they're obviously iconic it could work if it's executed well i don't know if it will but i am intrigued although not Same necessarily here. optimistic i agree and um it's going to be interesting to, to find out more details about this uh, and weird timing for it because we've mentioned the fact that live service games are such hit and miss. We don't even know it's live service game. We don't know what it is yet. It has to be but a live service game. There's exactly. No oh, exactly. There's but I don't no want to just say is. that. I'm not going to just say that, but you're right. Um, it, it's probably a live service game, and we just mentioned the fact that that's so hit or miss if it's going to hold. And I don't even know. The last Marvel game that tried this? Well, I mean, so. 
the difference, I think there's a big difference if there's a game that's actually strictly like a multiplayer PvP type thing, as opposed to, you know, what should be a single player ex experience like shoehorned into a live service thing like like Suicide Squad or the Avengers game. So but it's weird timing see. because uh, Overwatch is such, we just mentioned it on this podcast, how low the interest is now in this game. Okay, uh, it's weird timing to bring out an Overwatch style game. That's all. It's a good timing. I think Overwatch is dying. Sees, sees the uh, crowd go into the competitive world? So. Why not? No, I don't do know. It. I don't know if they can, but. I'm not going to definitively say it, but again, going back to what I said, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, this game was probably uh, fucking greenlit at the height of Overwatch popularity when fucking hero shooters were the thing, right? Because we had all those other hero shooters that died because Overwatch killed them. I can't even name them all uh, at the moment. Uh, but they existed. Overwatch killed them all. Um, just like fucking Suicide Squad, where, you know, people, you know, the Warner Brothers wanted a live service game. They wanted a co-op thing. They're like, let's do this. And it took five-ish more years to fucking develop it. And by the time it came out, everybody had moved on. Nobody cares about that type of, of gameplay anymore. And it just yeah. feels on paper, right, without seeing it, without... I, the trailer could come out tomorrow. It could blow me away. I will save my reservation for that. But yeah. I'm highly skeptical that another 6v6 team-based shooter of any kind, hero, especially if it's hero class, is going to make any noticeable dent in uh, a way that meaningfully matters for a company like Disney, right? Like, if it was a, a smaller right. indie company, sure, absolutely. Like, you could probably get by with a user base of, like, 100,000, 200,000, stuff like that. But for a company like, Di that, like Disney that's going to want yeah. fucking big numbers, again... Reference how much they fucking expect out of Spider Man from Sony. Like, yeah. It, it, I just cannot. The license by itself had to cost a fortune. Right? Yeah. I, I yeah. just cannot see in 2024 a, a game like that game. coming out and beating out the likes of Fortnite, Apex Legends, et cetera, et cetera, Call of Duty. Because like, that's what we you're just, just mentioned that. I mean, we, we talked about that in the previous podcast how it's like you have these pillars, and if you're not doing anything better than them, you can't make it. Right. Like, we just mentioned, I think you we were talking about that just like a couple episodes ago. Right. So I will say though, it, it it might be a slightly different space than those. I think you know Overwatch yeah. is that space. It was the one, and you know now it's like player base is just sick of it. So uh, there is an opportunity, I think, at this point, if this is you know eye catching and good. But who who are the developers? How do they know what to do with these characters? Like we don't even know. There's a we lot don't know of questions. Tomorrow, I mean, it'd be interesting, you know, to mention that uh, we'll see. Well, I mean, we'll see. Tomorrow's the day. So we'll see what happens tomorrow with it. Um, and we'll know. We'll talk a lot about it probably next week as we get impressions I mean, from it. This is a so. rumor, first of all. Like, it's a strong it, uh, it's rumor. It's a rumor. But... It's a strong rumor because it was picked up by a lot of sites. So not just the one I posted here, but it was a lot of sites that posted it. So I had seen it earlier. <laughs> the last 20 but... minutes of everything we've talked about could be total bullshit. All of it could be just rumors. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Cheryl, would you chime in here? I wouldn't. Mind one of if it was just a cash grab. Yeah, we appreciate. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's if it's a if it's a service game where it's like you're buying skins and but stuff, that's, that's right. And that's yeah. the thing, right? That's that's how these things live or die. Right? They want you to buy the skins. They want you to invest in the battle pass. This, that, and the other thing. And I just do not see because again, all right, like we'll take the, the only success story of 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 live action or uh, games as a service, live you know whatever service game, right? Hell divers, right? And that's sure. because it's completely cooperative, right? And you only need three other players to get it, right? Yep. And that's that's all the rage right now. To be like, hey, we want a six v six competitive shooter. Like, what do you like? How, Blizzard put all their focus on Overwatch, right? And this is before they they merged with Microsoft, but they were still one of the profitable third party biggest third party companies, yeah, in the fucking world, right? And yep. they failed at Overwatch. They failed at keeping Overwatch successful. Yeah. And we're supposed to believe Disney, which doesn't even have... They shut down their gaming division years ago, right? And they're paying the price for that now, right? Yeah. Uh, and an unknown developer? Like, I mean, I guess there's a world where somebody from, like, a team from EA or something, maybe this is, like, a, a respawn thing that they've been working on for a couple of years. Maybe. But, like, short yeah. of that, I can't think of another team that would be able to do a live service game. I agree. I agree with you. So we'll we'll find out. We'll yeah. see. Maybe we won't. I, got, uh, I would love a great game, but I just yeah, yeah. 
So reminds me that multiverse is, tr is coming back now too. Probably. Yeah, multiverse is coming back. I find that hard to believe that anybody will care after. We'll see after that break. Fans. Yeah. They sort of they sort of shot. Yeah. Shot their loads. <laughs> they did. So. I mean, right. people were so pissed about, it. and rightfully so. Like, to be they like, were. oh, we're we're delisting this game. It's like what? Like yeah, it was always it was early access like, always. Those, like, yeah. Founders packs or whatever, like a hundred fucking dollars or over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Stupid shit, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Warner Brothers. Oh, that's man. coming back, but yeah, Warner Brothers is lost. So, all right. I think it's going to wrap up. we have any more news? We don't. No. Uh, it's going to wrap up this episode, folks. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out next week. We're going to be talking about this, probably this game. Uh, we'll see uh, what it's going to be. Hope so. Hopefully. Check out next week. Thanks for tuning in, though. We're live on Twitch Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. Please join us live. YouTube, all the con content's over there. So subscribe to both channels to let you know when we go live or when we post. Uh, we will see you guys next week. We are out for now. Thanks. <laughs>